Hello there, it's Trisha, and uh, we're here in Los Angeles doing some more Ask Trisha Questions and Answers. And so thank you all for sending in your questions on Twitter and Facebook and TrishaHelper.com. Um, I haven't read through them all, so it's going to be a surprise uh, each, each time I read one. But uh, again, thank you all for sending them in, and let's get right to them. Okay, what was Caprica 6's motivation in killing the baby in the market scene of the BSG miniseries? From the look on her face, it almost seems to me like she did it out of a warped sense of compassion, knowing what was coming and not wanting the baby to suffer through the Holocaust. Aaron. Aaron, you got exactly what I was trying to get across. I wanted it to be that it was, she was doing it uh, as a mercy killing. Um, she knew what was about to happen and uh, the baby would have suffered a much more horrible death had she not done it. Um, so I wanted it that she, you know, it was the first time she'd actually held a baby and there was a fascination there and, you know, if, maybe if she could have changed things, she would have, but it was too late at that point and, and she also wasn't far enough along in her journey to realize that that maybe things should not be happening the way they were about to unfold. Um, so yes, it was a mercy killing. Really enjoyed following along on Twitter as you and Katie Sackoff toured on your motorcycles to raise awareness for the Gulf oil spill disaster. My question is this, if money and time were no object, what long motorcycle trip would you take and what sort of motorcycle would you take it on? And this is from Shad. I think one of the trips that I'd love to do is uh, to go across Canada. It's a very, very, very large country and um, so it would have to be done in the summer because of the winters and the mountains and everything there. So, um, yeah, I'd love to go across Canada. And I'd be hard pressed to do it on anything but what I rode on the Lala ride on. The R1200 GS is pretty spectacular. I think that's my new favorite bike. Um, it's just so versatile for street and if you do have to do a little bit of you know dirt road and off-road and um, things like that, it's a phenomenal bike. So that would be my choice. If you could put yourself into any television show in place of any character, which would you choose? Um, I don't watch a lot of television. I watch sporadically here and there. Uh, I've just started watching Breaking Bad, and I think being in anything in there would be phenomenal because it's just a very raw, incredible show. Um, I've started watching Justified, which is, I think, hysterical. I would have loved to have played the ex-wife. Um, and Men of a Certain Age, I think, is very funny. I mean, there's, there's tons of shows. There's Damages, there's Sons of Anarchy. I'd love to be in Sons of Anarchy just because I ride motorbikes. And I think it's a, gr a gritty, raw show, which is um, fun. I'd like to be in sitcoms, too, a little bit more. But I don't watch too many of them, so I can't really say. I'd say Justified, Breaking Bad, or Sons of Anarchy, because that's what I'm watching right now. Would you break the law to save a loved one? Save a loved one's life? Uh, I think absolutely. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, that's a loaded question because it depends on if the loved one did something wrong and I was just trying to keep them out of jail. No, if they did something wrong, I'm not going to break the law myself. Um, but if it's, you know, somebody breaks into my house and is about to kill my husband and I had the opportunity to, to save him, yes, I'm going to protect him. Um, so yeah, I think it depends on the situation. Would a World of Warcraft movie be in Trisha's future? There seems to be some speculation on the subject. You may have heard more than I've heard because I don't know any speculation on the subject. Since you acted the part of a female assassin in Howling for You, have you ever read or heard about the book Underground Empire by James Mills in which he talks about female assassins? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, but you've just given me a book that I'm going to have to go out and get because I've played a female serial killer in Open House, a movie, and um, I've also done the play a female assassin in Howling for You, so which is a music video for those of you who don't know by the Black Keys. Um, I, I didn't know about that book, so thank you for bringing it to my attention. I'll have to read it next time I play an assassin. Finished the questions for today. Thank you all for sending them in. Uh, there are some great questions, and be sure to tune in on TrishaHuffer.com for the next installment of Ask Trisha. And you can continue to send your questions. We will compile them, and we will be doing more questions and answers in the future. So be sure to tune in, and 
Thank you all again. Thank you.